Hello friends, welcome to Civil 3D Tips and Tricks channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can show details of your existing utility lines or uh, electrical lines without converting them into alignments. So let me start the video. So you can see here, I am having my proposed corridor here. And uh, there are two utility lines. So this is the uh, existing cable line which is passing here and there is one more utility that is ele existing electrical line so I want to show the details of this line and I don't want to convert them into alignment so how can I do that so I will go to the annotation tab I will go to add labels and in that I will choose add multiple segment line co labels so I will create uh, individual for uh, uh, this and th this two lines so I will first select this existing cable line first so you can see for all the segments the labels have been given now in reality so for this one I am having only three segments but when you do the these things in uh, existing utilities you will have multiple segments and all the segments are of small small lengths so in that case if you show it like this then your text will overlap each other so what you can do is you can create one table for your segments and in that you can choose this labels like here I am having this four labels so I will select that I will convert all into tags and these are some properties for the table so I am keeping dynamic tables so here it is I am having three segments uh, there are three circular objects two line objects these are the length these are the bearing data and for circular objects these are the radius similar way if I am having predefined styles like I am going in table properties so if I am having some predefined styles like I am choosing the another style so here I can see the same details but uh, there is some different style set and these tables are dynamic so suppose if you see C4 so this is C4 if I modify this little bit you can see your radius is getting updated now if I want to add extra details here then I can go to the table properties I can modify this style so I will add one more column here I will give this let's say I will add north thing here and I have to add two values one value is for line and another is for the curve so for line I am adding segment start no thing and for curve I am adding segment start no thing so there is one more column similar way I will do it for another utility so I have selected the labels and now I will convert the labels into tags three tags are selected And this is the table for this utility line this electric cable line and this table is for this line and now if you want to uh, divide this table in different parts you can do the same Means this is the properties for that table so this is currently dynamic table if you want to make it static then you can choose it now currently it is having uh, after 20 rows it will show the second table 
so here there are five labels so if i choose four then after four labels it is creating another table so this settings are useful when you uh, are showing this table in the seat sets so this way you can show this labels in your uh, drawings and uh, this can be useful for the presentation purpose thank you thank you very much for which viewing this trick